today we are in Besançon, a historical capital of the French Comté region in France. Not a lot of people visit Besançon, but in fact it has one of the prettiest uh, city centers uh, in France and uh, a lot of places to check out and uh, things to do. So for example, today we are going to uh, stop by uh, the uh, Citadel, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as uh, by the birth house of Victor Hugo, and just stroll around uh, the city center. Another interesting fact about Besançon is that, uh, that it is a place where they produce uh, automatic parking ticketing machines uh, similar to this one. Besançon also has a great tradition of uh, watchmaking, which originated after uh, Swiss watchmakers moved to the area after the French Revolution. Dijon and Besançon, they are not uh, located far away from each other, in fact they are located in the same region, bourgogne franche Comte, uh, but their history was very different. Dijon as part of Burgundy became property of France at the end of the 15th century. Uh, at the same time, uh, Besançon uh, became property of the Habsburg Empire as a result of the marriage between uh, Mary of Burgundy and uh, the Habsburg Emperor. Uh, Besançon remained property of uh, uh, Habsburg Empire for about 200 years. It exchanged uh, uh, the hands uh, for a few times uh, until about the 17th century that it became property of, uh, of the French crown again. And uh, as a result of this, uh, it assumed strategic importance. Behind me you can see uh, a castle, rather citadel, uh, which was built by the famous architect Vauban. Now it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and uh, now we are going to go inside and see what it looks like from inside. One of the most striking things about Besançon is uh, how green it is 
and uh, the number of parks and green spaces in the city. And in fact, it is considered one of the uh, greenest uh, cities in uh, France.